back to another vlog. So, I apologize for the noise, it just turned my car on. But today I am going to hang out with my mom and we're gonna take her dog for a much needed walk. He's put on a couple pounds and it's a beautiful day out here. It's 77 degrees in Phoenix and we are heading over to the Superstition Mountains for a nice little afternoon stroll. I was gonna go to Flagstaff today, but you know, I ran into a huge accident on the highway yesterday and I was stuck in traffic for almost three hours and I just, I'm not feeling being in the car that long again today because I was so wiped out. I haven't been in traffic like that in forever because it usually doesn't get that bad out here in Arizona. Walking with Mr. Garner. Say hi, Garner. Garner, buddy. Yeah, he's just hi, making his way up this hill. And this is my mom. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, good. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I wanted to talk about some things. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of my footage from my hike earlier. And it was kind of an overcast day, but I still had a great time. I love being out in nature, as you guys may know. So recently, actually two nights ago, I downloaded Grindr and yeah. I never thought I would download Grindr again. I'm pretty surprised, but I've been talking to a couple guys on there and it's really the same as it was when I left it, but I'm gonna start meeting guys off Grindr again and just see how it goes. I do have a lot of standards and I like to be picky, so I'm not just on it for the purpose of hooking up. I have met some pretty friendly people on Grindr. I think it can be used as a great way to make friends as well, but like I said, you have to be kind of picky when you're looking for somebody that you can hang out with on a friendship basis. And maybe a friend with benefits, who knows? So in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the moment that I knew that I was gay or into guys, I should say, because I still like girls, but I like guys too. So let's get started with this. I think you guys would love to hear this. 
This happened when I was in middle school. When I went to middle school, there was three grades. It was sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So up until about seventh grade, I was bullied by a lot of guys, not really girls at all. It was just a bunch of guys my age. And I was bullied because I hung out with hot girls, like the girls that they wanted. And I guess that just kind of made them jealous about me and made them not really like me. Okay, so let's talk about this guy named Chris. That's not his real name, but I'm not gonna say his real name, so we'll just call him Chris for the sake of the video. Now, Chris was a very popular, highly desirable guy all the way up until like, I don't know, mid high school, because he kind of started letting himself go after that, but Chris was popular, the girls liked him, he was one of the guys that bullied me, and he has a sister that's my sister's age, so I think they knew each other, and his sister had been over to my house a couple times. One day, Chris and I were partnered together for a project in school, and this was in seventh grade. We'd never really talked at all before that, and when we were partnered together for this project, we started talking and just kind of kicking it off from there. There wasn't any hard feelings between us. We were just kind of interested in each other. We just kept asking each other questions and, you know, in middle school, I really wasn't that good of a student. I was kind of a class clown and I got in trouble a lot and he did too. So it might not have been the best partnership for a project, but it definitely happened for a reason. So I knew Chris tried to get with a couple of my girlfriends in middle school and I knew him from what they would say about him, but I didn't really know him as a person. So that day that we got partnered on the project, he asked to walk home with me to my house and just to hang out a little bit. And I was so like taken back by that because he used to bully me a lot, like, and it would make me sad, it would make me mad, it make me not want to go to school some days. So that day, we walked home to my house, and I lived about, I don't know, two miles from school, so it wasn't that long of a walk. On the way to my house, we stopped at this creek that's on my street that I lived on. We actually ended up building a dam in the creek. There was some, some timber on the side of the creek bed and we made a whole dam in the middle of the creek and it was like a great team building exercise if you will and we were talking a lot and getting to know a lot about each other and I think he realized that I wasn't some princess that was scared to break a nail and scared to get a little dirty and he wasn't either and we had a lot of fun that day. So after we played in the creek a little bit we walked up the hill to my house and we hung out there for a couple hours and it was a great time and we just played video games and had something to eat and then his mom came to pick him up and we just carried on with our lives the next day. So after that day we started hanging out every day after school. Some days we'd walk to the park and hang out with some of my park friends or some days I'd walk to his house and we'd hang out at his house. We never did anything like, you know, messed around or anything like that, but we were just buddies. We were just high school buddies. Like we'd share each other's clothes, we shared games with each other. We just started to become really close friends. And we were texting a lot every day during school, figuring out what the plan was after school. So at this point, it was probably eighth grade year now and I started thinking about him a lot, like a lot, a lot. And this might be kind of irrelevant, but when I came back from summer break in eighth grade, my voice had dropped like six octaves. I hit puberty, you know, I just, I was taller and I kind of changed a lot. And he was one of the early bloomers, so he was already like growing facial hair in eighth grade and he had the abs and everything. He always had his shirt off, which, I mean, I wasn't complaining about. And I kind of looked up to him in a way. He was kind of like what I wanted to be. I think he kind of looked up to me in a way as well because I had qualities and some aspects of my life that he wanted to have. So it was a very interesting friendship. So I started thinking about Chris a lot, like every single day, all throughout school. I wasn't out of the closet yet, I was still 
dating girls and talking to girls and just kind of like faking it, I guess. I was still into the girls, but I was just so much more into him and I knew it was just a fantasy, so I never really put any efforts towards that. I'm also from a very small country town where it's not very progressive and there was no openly gay guys or girls in my school, so that made things really difficult for me to come to terms with my feelings. So we were still hanging out a lot at this point and I discovered that his mom did not like me. I've, I met his mom multiple times and she always was really friendly to me and talkative, but he told me that she didn't like me because I guess she thought that I wasn't a good influence on him since I wasn't on the football team and I didn't hang out with his circle of friends. Because when we started hanging out a lot, he kind of started changing. He started hanging out with some of my friends as well, and he was just changing a lot when we started hanging out. So around the end of eighth grade, we stopped hanging out so much, and I think at this point, he was starting to realize that I might have liked him more than a friend. The entire time I thought that he felt the same way because, you know, how could a guy go from bullying me and being so cruel and mean to me every single day, how could he go from that to just wanting to be around me every day and wanting to talk to me and see me and we'd walk together in the hallways. It just kind of felt like a tease to me and I would some nights go to sleep crying because I had so much I had so much pressure in like my heart and in my head of all these feelings I was feeling because I had never felt like that before for any guy. And I didn't even know I was gay, but that thought just kept coming into my head. Like, am I, you know, am I? I just kept forcing it down in the back of my head and it just kept popping up. So like I said, Chris and I stopped hanging out every day and that kind of upset me, but I kept on with my life and I kept meeting new friends and you know, I got into high school and things were going well. We still remained friends in high school. We just weren't hanging out every single day, but we were still hanging out once in a while and it was nice to still have him in my life because at that point I still thought about him a lot. I was just so attracted to him when I was younger. To this date, I've never been attracted to anybody as strongly as I was to him. So Chris had numerous girlfriends throughout middle school and high school, but it seemed like he hung out with me more than he did with his girlfriends. And I was a little curious as to why, but I wasn't complaining at all. Like, I loved hanging out with him. We always had a great time. We didn't get in any trouble together. We were just two best buddies, and I never really had a bro like that before him, so that might have been why the feelings were so strange to me. But even looking back now, being older, I still wonder why did he become so friendly with me? Because even after the group project, we were hanging out, like spending a lot of time with each other, doing things with each other. But to this date, I can't remember him making any moves or anything like that or giving me any type of sign. We would hug each other and he would do the like the fake gay thing, you know, how guys act like that when they're young and immature. They do the fake like, uh, you know, like just the, the gay jokes and everything, which I played into because I didn't want to blow my cover. So fast forward to now and I've been out of high school since 2016, so about four years, and we don't really talk at all anymore. And it's kind of sad. I don't think about him nearly as much as I did in high school and middle school. Thinking about him day in and day out, and the fact that I still think about him to this date is a clear indicator to me that I'm into guys. And it was really scary at first because I came to terms with it probably in 10th grade. I didn't start experimenting with guys and just kind of exploring until 11th grade, early 11th grade, so it took me a while to come to terms with everything that I was feeling, and my biggest fantasy was just to play around with him and experiment with him, and I just did not have the courage to ask him or to make any moves whatsoever. So that kind of put a damper on things, but I don't talk to Chris anymore. We still follow each other on social media, but 
we're not talking every day and I haven't seen him since I've gotten out of high school. But I know every guy's story about how they discovered that they're gay or into guys is different and that's my story. That's how I discovered that I'm into guys. I would love to hear some of your stories about how you discovered that you liked guys or girls and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new from this video as well. I had to actually go back and write some of my thoughts down because thinking back that far is pretty difficult for me because I was in a completely different headspace and I was almost a completely different person. What did you guys think about that story? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you did, please give this video a like. And if you like my channel and you want to see more of my upcoming videos, click the subscribe button. Alright guys, well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.